Yeah, I think guys are uh, they're anxious, they're excited to, to get back on the field. We've been, uh, we did a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, good on good during camp this year. And so, um, you know, guys I think are just a little bit ready for a change of pace to actually play somebody else now. Um, you know, a lot of preparation has gone into it, but we're definitely ready to show off what we've got. A lot of people talked about the uh, revenge factor. I don't know if you want to use the word revenge, but they are the team that the uh, only team to beat you last year. How much can that play into uh, putting a chip on your shoulder and, and helping you get focused? Yeah, I don't, I don't like really using the word revenge, and I've said that before because it's, uh, it's just so emotional. Um, and you can't build a good game plan off of that, and you're not going to play your best um, when you're too overcome with emotion. But we've definitely got... Um, you know, a little bit of something extra in there, a little bit of a chip on our shoulder because of uh, the game last year. But, um, you know, again, we have to prepare really hard and we know it's going to be a good team coming out there. Um, you know, uh, a great environment that Monday night. And so we're just going to have to make sure we've got all of our ducks in a row. Josh, the interesting thing is that uh, it seems like throughout last year, you guys were thankful for the way that happened, that it refocused you, helped turn your season around. So. Maybe there wouldn't even be a reason to be mad at Virginia Tech. Yeah, at the same time, you know, you want to win them all. Um, you know, we've got lofty goals here, and, and we want to be really successful. Um, you know, you, you hope that it doesn't take a loss for a team to have to really focus in and, and come together. Um, sometimes that's what it takes. And so this year we're trying to be able to do that as quickly as possible to, to lock in and come together as a team. Um, we want to be very successful, and uh, we want to give ourselves the best shot at the end of the year, so we have to do that now by uh, playing really well every week. Preparing for the unexpected, you guys can watch all the film you want on Virginia Tech, where they're undoubtedly going to have some wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Is that exciting? As, I mean, as a senior, you've been through that before with openers. Just give some insights on preparing for the unexpected, so to speak. Yeah, um, you know, this is a time where you kind of run a little bit of everything, and you look back, and uh, our coaches are looking at, um, film from years ago just to see what kind of wrinkles they've put in game plans before. Um, you know, you, you also take things that maybe hurt you a little bit last year and you work on those because you know people are going to try to put that in their game plan for the first game. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know they have their base concepts and what they do and, and what they're good at, but um, you always have to expect something a little bit different coming out of the gate, and so we'll be ready for that. Um, we enjoy preparing for things like that as a team, um, and our defense is ready to go out there and play a sound game. And I know you can't give specifics on what wrinkles you guys are going to do, but you guys are going to have some wrinkles about how, you know, without getting into specifics, how much will the defense be different than what it looked like at the end of last year? Um, you know, we're going to have our base, and we're going to do what we do well, but uh, we've definitely got some wrinkles in there. Um, we want to be really aggressive this year, and so we found some new ways to do that. Um, and I think that we've got really, really good players, great athletes who are confident in what they do and confident in the guys around them. So um, we'll be able to have some change-ups this year and hopefully uh, be able to cause some confusion. How do you feel about the depth with injuries and suspensions? How do you feel? Obviously, you can only put 11 at a time, but how do you feel about this team's depth overall? Um, we're a deep team, and we're a team of guys that uh, respond to adversity. So one guy goes down or one guy has to be out of the game plan. We've got guys that are willing to step up and will step up. So um, I think that we're going to be solid there. Uh, the thing is just going to make be making sure that the young guys who are going to be asked to play in this game uh, know what's expected of them and know what's coming out the gate. And uh, I think we do a great job of that. Coach Meyer causes a lot of chaos and confusion during practice, and that's exactly what happens during the course of a game. And so um, I think that we should be ready for uh, those type of situations and, and that our guys will be uh, ready to step up. Is it almost a next man up mentality? It's uh, always like that around here. Um, we want to make sure that if one guy is down the next guy, um, you know, when, when your number is called, you're ready to step in and, and play a sound game. And so um, we've, we've trained our guys for that. Coach uh, talked a little bit about how difficult it is for teams to uh, repeat at any level, NFL, college, and so forth, because so much that is happening after a championship season. How have you dealt with that, and how difficult is it to stay focused? Um, you know, I personally don't talk about repeating, and most of the guys in our locker room don't talk about that. What we talk about is uh, is coming together, being a, a sound team, brotherhood of trust, and then playing nine units strong. And that's our main goal, is to go out there and have all the units at maximum capacity ready to play. Um, and if we do that, we play every game. We prepare the way that we've prepared in the past. Um, we don't take anything lightly, nothing for granted. Uh, we'll be able to be in a position to be successful. But um, the more you start talking about how are we going to repeat or how are we going to you know, do this and how are we going to make this happen again, that's when you start uh, losing what really happens and, and you start straying off the path of success.